equipment's pocket instead of where it is needed in the oil industry. And regardless of where the money goes, the outlook is that you will be paying more for oil and gasoline in the future. Bill Wordham, ABC News, Houston, Texas. While the U.S. worries about finding more oil and paying for it, Saudi Arabia worries about selling what it's got and what to do with all that money. ABC's Bill Zimmerman has a report on how the Saudis are handling all their new oil wealth. For centuries, the oasis was the symbol of life in the land that is now Saudi Arabia. Green trees in the desert, water for the wandering tribes, and the camel caravans. But the symbol here now is the oil well for a land sitting on 40% of the world's oil reserves. The derrick and the rhythmic screeching of bit against rock. It is oil, not water, that is rapidly changing the face of this desert land. Oil is the promise of the new life here. It is, at this time, a formidable weapon in world affairs. Nine generations ago, the oil beneath the sands of Saudi Arabia lay undiscovered, and in Daraia, Prince Mohammed bin Saud was beginning the dynasty that now rules the kingdom. Parts of his castle still exist, but the village itself is dying. Within two years, the few people left in Daraia will be relocated by the government in Riyadh, swept away in the tide of oil that is flooding a way of life. And as the oil flows out, the money rolls in. So much of it that the central planning organization has been working for a year and a half to find ways of spending it all. Planners hope in the next five years to have completed the physical infrastructure of a modern society. With the help of consultants, builders, and technicians from the United States and elsewhere, they will complete 13,000 kilometers of new roads, a telecommunications network, and a web of new schools and hospitals. So aware that the oil under her land will someday stop flowing, Saudi Arabia is using it now. Her oasis is the oil derrick, and she is bent on using it as a weapon if necessary, and as the fuel for her headlong drive into the 20th century. Bill Zimmerman, ABC News, Abgigi, Saudi Arabia. Israel has offered Egypt a UN-controlled corridor to the Abu Rudais oil fields in the Sinai Peninsula if the oil fields, now held by Israel, are given back to the Egyptians under a new peace agreement. The offer is a change in Israel's earlier demands that its own troops supervise the oil field access corridor. The Greyhound Ameripass is a great way to get in touch with America. You get a whole month of unlimited travel for only $175. 